Is a new era of the global financial system upon us? Some say yes, while others say not too fast. In recent months, the global financial landscape has been abuzz with significant developments that could reshape the way international transactions are conducted. One such pivotal moment occurred when ASEAN, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, finance ministers and central bank governors convened in Indonesia to discuss a groundbreaking agenda, reducing dependence on major currencies, the likes of the US dollar, the euro, the yen, and the British pound, all in favor of a local currencies for financial transactions. In this analysis, I delve into the implications of these discussions, the potential shift in the global financial system, and where investors should consider placing their bets in this evolving landscape. My name is Dr. David Walalu, and you are watching the Geopolitics in Conflict show. The move towards local currencies. Well, the central focus of the ASEAN meeting was the local currency transactions known as LCT scheme, an ambitious extension of the local currency settlements among ASEAN members. The LCT proposal aims to facilitate cross-border trade with ASEAN using local currencies, thereby reducing reliance on major international currencies. This initiative is not merely hypothetical. It builds on practical steps already taken by countries like Indonesia, like Malaysia, Singapore, among other members. The shift towards local currencies in ASEAN is part of a broader strategy to enhance financial stability and economic resilience. By reducing exposure to exchange rate fluctuation and dependency on major currencies, ASEAN countries aim to foster a more self-reliant and integrated regional economy. The move also aligns with Indonesia's efforts to introduce a domestic payment system, as announced by the Bank of Indonesia in March 27, 2023. This development underscores the region's commitment to strengthening its financial infrastructure and promoting the use of local currencies in international trade. So what are the implications for the global financial system? Well, the ASEAN initiative to move towards local currencies is emblematic of a larger trend in the global financial system. There is a growing sentiment among emerging markets and regional blocs to diversify their currency usage and reduce reliance on traditional financial powerhouses. This sentiment is echoed in other parts of the world, notably among the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. As a geopolitical analyst, I predict that the upcoming BRICS summit in Kazan, Russia, which is scheduled for October 2024, will witness major financial announcements aimed at further reducing dependence on the US dollar and other major currencies. These developments raise a fundamental question. Is the global financial system as we know it coming to an end? If so, what would replace it? The traditional financial order, dominated by a few minor currencies, appears to be fragmenting. Countries and regional blocs are increasingly exploring alternatives that offer greater control over their economic destinies and reduce vulnerability to external shocks and sanctions. Then there is the investment strategies in this changing landscape. What will they be? Well, consider the shifts. Investors are left wondering where to allocate their funds. The uncertainty and potential volatility in the global financial system necessitate 
a strategic approach to investments. Here are three potential areas of focus. One, gold and silver. These precious metals have historically been seen as a safe haven during time of economic uncertainty. Gold and silver offer stability and are likely to retain value even as fiat currencies fluctuate. As traditional financial systems face potential upheaval, these metals could provide a hedge against currency devaluation and inflation. Two, rare earth minerals and energy. With the global transition towards green energy and technological advancements, rare earth minerals are becoming increasingly valuable. These minerals are essential for producing high-tech devices and renewable energy technologies. Investing in rare earth minerals and energy resources can capitalize on the growing demand driven by technological and environmental shifts. And third is cryptocurrency. Well, cryptocurrencies represent a revolutionary shift in the financial world, offering decentralized and secure transactions. As trust in traditional financial system wanes, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum could gain prominence as alternative stores of value and mediums of exchange. The decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies also aligns with the broader trend of reducing reliance on centralized financial institutions and major currencies. This last category is of great importance as one who invests in this sector, leading me to talk about today's video sponsors. DeFi Technologies Stock ticker is DEFTF. First, let me provide you an overview about the company. DeFi Technologies is a public company founded in 2020 out of the need for a better and a more secure access to decentralized finance. DeFi provides regulated diversified exposure to a new wave of blockchain-based assets, services, and application. The rise of DeFi technology in this new era of finance. The financial world is witnessing a revolutionary transformation with advent of decentralized finance, DeFi technology, that's where the word came from. DeFi is not just a buzzword. It represents a paradigm shift in how we perceive and interact with financial systems. As a holding company, Valor, a treasure trove in the crypto industry. As such, Valor is among the companies leading this charge, a name synonymous with innovation and profitability in the DeFi space. And with this, comes the significant role and the promising future Valor holds. Over the first six few months of this year alone, talking about six months here, DeFi Technologies stock surged an astounding 150%, reaching a 52-week high. As one who seeks investment opportunities and who's investing in this company, I am here to share with you why this company is an unparalleled investment opportunity. Let's hear first from the company itself from its Q1 first quarter earnings call. I think everybody needs to look at the company as a whole. Um, so, so we basically did 10 million US in revenue um, in Q1. Um, Q2, the math is really easy, and I'm using U.S. numbers here, but our, our AUM is basically 50% higher in Q2. Um, so multiply 10 million U.S. In, in Q1, which is you know basically break even for the year just in Q1. So you have 15 million um, U.S. call it in profits for Q2, and you have 40 million uh, in profits off of the trade. So we're already at a 55 million. Uh, profit run rate in the first six months, 55 million should be trading at 20 times uh, profits. 
because we're not even talking revenues, we're talking profits. That's a billion dollar um, AUM company. And if you look at our US market, um, that's a four bagger from our current share price. So there is a massive valuation disconnect here, um, which we're obviously gonna be working on uh, aggressively to change. Um, there are broker dealers all over in Canada and the US that are reaching out to us now that they're seeing what this company is doing. Um, uh, and, you know, this is the irony, everyone. Pioneer in bridging traditional finance and crypto world. This is why DeFi is a trailblazer in enabling traditional investors to gain access to the highly effective and rapidly expanding digital asset sector, including decentralized finance and Web3. Its unique business model offers a secure and regulated gateway, eliminating the need for investors to create separate crypto wallet or account. And given its current trading at a 52 week high, reflecting its strong performance and market confidence, doing the research myself, I learned that the analysts who is covering this stock forecasts more than 150% upside from its current value, which is a conservative estimate in my opinion. The company is doing very well. Here is their, their stock ticker on your screen. Check it out. What is also remarkable about this company is that it is ultra profitable, has a hyper growth, amazing management, not on NASDAQ exchange floor yet. And the key important thing is that Main Street is getting it before Wall Street. It is an OTC known as the over-the-counter traded. And lastly, when you have a profitable company, it does not need to raise any money, which is the case here. The company has a solid management that oversees this ultra profitable company and it is under none other than Anthony Pompliano known as Pump. During the recent Chan conference which was held this year on April 4th, Pump stated and I quote, the stock I would have pitched at the Chan conference. Each of these picks has a solid thesis behind them but I think they will be drastically outperformed by the stock that I would have pitched yesterday if I was at the conference. My pick would be DeFi Technologies. As mentioned earlier, DeFi Technology owns Valor. And by the way, Valor is the only licensee or issuer of crypto exchange traded product known as ETPs in Europe. By the way, ETPs are similar to exchange traded funds, which is the ATFs here in the United States. Valor has licensed about 23 crypto ETPs. It allows investors, including hedge funds and sovereign wealth funds, to gain exposure to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, like Solana, among others. Valor manages 23 different ETPs and is looking to issue more making it a significant player in the crypto investment space. Eric Jackson, the founder of EMJ Capital, recently endorsed DeFi Technologies on CNBC. Money movers to discuss whether the tech stocks are currently in an AI bubbles. Uh, Nvidia, lack of competition, for example, and other under the radar plays in artificial intelligence. Here is what Eric Jackson wrote on X. The market is starting to take notice. EMJ Capital's Eric Jackson on Dale said, and I quote, still cheap compared to other AI plays, end of quote. And you know, guys, since Jackson's endorsements, the stock has surged 55% in just one week further validating the bullish sentiment. Interestingly, what makes Valor unique is that it can issue crypto ETPs 
which is, by the way, a process that takes between two to three years to acquire. This puts Valor ahead of others since it started back in 2017. The genius and the foresight has already driven close to $1 billion in assets under management to Valor, highlighting its pioneer role in the market. Let me break it down for you. Please get a pen and a paper. The financial metrics of DeFi technologies are very impressive. Valor makes 7% on its assets and their management, which are around, as I mentioned earlier, $1 billion. So, it makes about $70 million in revenue as of this year. Its overhead cost is estimated about $10 million. So, you take the $70 million, take $10 million out of it, that leaves you with $60 million. That's how much profit Valor will generate in net income this year. Considering DeFi Technologies market cap of $320 million, in addition to having $80 million in cash, the estimate for everything DeFi Technologies own, including Valor, is about $240 million. That's when you take $320 million and you take $80 million out of it. This is how much they have in hand. One thing is sure, the numbers I just shared with you suggest that this valuation indicates a 25% return on investments. Now, be honest, guys. Tell me where else can you find an investment with such a return in the market today? Where else can you find an asset generating a 25% return? This is why it makes DeFi Technologies one of the most attractive and undervalued companies globally. And by the way, since DeFi Technologies' price on the stock market is very cheap, the company just authorized buyback of their own shares up to 10%. Today, the price is traded at $1.26. Some analysts expect a target price of $3 per share, which is profitable, I would say. I'm going to share with you something personal. The team here at Geopolitics in Conflict, we decided to buy shares in this company given the low price and the expectations of great return. That will be between eight and $10 a share. Here's my conclusion for you. What are you waiting for? You can either invest in DeFi technologies, stock ticker is DEFTF. Visit the website, check it out, and check their stock ticker and see for yourself why DeFi Technologies is poised to continue its rise. Here's my disclaimer to you. As we stand at the cusp of a new era in global finance, it is crucial to stay informed and adaptable. The traditional financial system may be transforming, but with strategic foresight, you can find opportunities to thrive. Don't waste any time. Click the link below to DeFi Technologies and read for yourself. Remember, there are always risks in investments and there are no guarantees of any kind. Thank you.